injecting randomness into your programs can really elevate them because suddenly your code does different things every time it runs. Now the tools required to do this in Python aren't available right from the start. We need to import a set of additional subprograms as part of a random module. Once we do this, we have loads of tools available to us. So I can go something like print random dot rand int. And this takes two parameters, the lower number and the upper number. And this will generate a random number in the range you give it. So this will be between one and 10 inclusive. The first time I ran it, I got three, but it's random. So if I run it again, we might get three again. There we go. Or we hopefully eventually get a different number. It's random. So it should flick around in that range. But crucially, it's inclusive. It would include 10 potentially. Now, randint gives you integers. If you wanted random decimal numbers, random floats, you can use random.uniform. And it works in a very similar way, but this time you're going to get decimal numbers. Let's just comment out of that first line. We only see the floats. So this time we're getting fractional numbers as we are running it. Now, how would we use this? Well, let's say we're simulating a coin toss. There are only two possible outcomes in a coin toss, either it's heads or it's tails. So I'm going to simulate this by generating either one or two. And I do that by using randint one comma two. If that number generated is equal to one, let's say that is heads. Otherwise, if it is two, let's say that is tails. And this should lead to a very simple program where every time I run it, it gives me either heads or tails and it should be random. It doesn't always seem random when you do a couple of runs, but it should be overall a random program.